Good morning, it's Aaron Barton. Hey! Good morning, it's Aaron Barton with Barton Outfitters. And today, in this video, we are going to give you a behind the scenes look at a day in the life of a quail guide at a hunting preserve in Mississippi. Follow along as you see how much fun. As you can tell, the dog is excited. He's always excited. Hey! He knows where we're going. A little bit I'll fuel the flames by saying things like, you wanna find the birds? Hey, you wanna find the birds? All right, we're here at the gates of Little Q. I'm gonna let Dublin run down. Quiet. I'm gonna let him run down to the tin can and get a little of the crazies out. Dog's out. He gone. Hunts start at 9 a.m., so I like to get there about 30 or 45 minutes before the shooters. Give me time to have a cup of coffee, collar the dogs, and get the bird set, which we're gonna show you next. Prior to this season, we had uh, cedars and scrub pines all along the edge of this road, but as you can see, it's been mulched up. Um, birds would love to get over there, so a lot of times, even before we would set birds from previous hunts, we'd be running down this road to get ready for a hunt, and Dublin would lock up on point. All right, we run a Garmin six dog system. It helps us keep track of the dogs, give them feedback. These collars do have multi-stimulation shock setting, but we really just use it to tone them to let them know, hey, that's not what we want or pay attention. So we've got Dublin collar. You can see there's the rest of the crew. I'm gonna go get the bird set and put Dublin in the tin can uh, so he doesn't run up any birds while I'm out setting. This is the tin can. It serves as the meeting point for the hunts. It's also the accommodations for little Q. As you can see, we've got a pool table, living room, flat screen TVs, and then a couple of bedrooms with bunk beds, full kitchen, and full bath. So we're gonna put Dublin in the bathroom and grab ourselves a cup of coffee and get rolling. Our chariot to the field, to work, and to the hunt, a what is this, a Ranger? Yeah, Ranger. 1,000 single overhead cam. Don't know what that means. Not a required step, but I always like to stop by and say hi to Quint, a sweet young German short hair pointer. He usually likes it too. Hey, baby boy. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, you sweet old boy? You old dog. So we caught the birds this mor mor <laughs> This morning, Josh caught the birds out of the holding flight pen. And now uh, they're in this bird box. So we're going to catch them. Always wear gloves when handling any sort of uh, agricultural animals. Just good common sense PPE. Just a couple of spins uh, to disorient the birds only temporarily. They can fly just fine and then we're gonna set them in the grass. We usually hollow out a little portion of the grass just to give them some overhead cover. Gently set them down and they're ready to be hunted.
repeat the process of setting coveys um, generally equal to or maybe one or two exceeding the number of shooters until the birds are exhausted. We'll give those birds time to settle in, let their scent profile kind of distribute with the wind and greet our shooters for Eventually hunting. get them all, that's a good looking gun. Ready, fellas? Great shot, great shot. I got that one on video too. Make you look famous. All right, these guys have hunted their hunt. It's windy, we're gonna go get their birds clean. While each day is different, they all kind of follow that same pattern for on-side hunts. Uh, it's not glamorous, but it allows us to continue a tradition of hunting over working dogs. It lets folks that don't have access to wild birds stay in the game, helps us introduce new hunters, and it's something I'm proud to be a part of. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at a day in the life of a quail guide and let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see any more behind the scenes stuff from what we've got going on here at Barton Outfitters. Thank you for spending your time with us. We appreciate you. See you next time.